Bill Gates and Steve Jobs come to mind first when we think of technological innovators. The contributions made by women in the field of technology are frequently overlooked. But there's no denying that they helped usher in the sophisticated digital era we have today. Women have been transforming the world for a long time. They always have. Women were on an equal footing with men when technology first began to advance decades ago. Many incredible female leaders in the technology industry have created groundbreaking innovations and altered the course of human history with their brilliant concepts. Welcome to The Quick, the inspiration hub for aspiring entrepreneurs and billionaires. If you like what I do, please consider subscribing and turn on the notification bell to get notified for more video like this. The following list are top 10 women in technology who laid the first stone. Number 1. Ada Lovelace, the world's first computer programmer in history. Ada Lovelace was born in London in 1815, the daughter of eminent poet Lord Byron. Her mother and a number of tutors taught her in her home. Ada studied science and mathematics, which helped her, because she is today regarded as an English mathematician and author. Ada and Charles Babbage, the creator of the analytical engine, collaborated as a result of her skills and interest in machinery. The world's first computer programmer is Ada, according to some. Alan Turing built his contemporary computer using Ada's notes on the analytical engine. Number 2. Grace Hopper, the mother of computing. Grace Hopper was born in New York in 1906, and she passed away in 1992. She was a renowned computer scientist and one of the original Harvard Markey computer programmers. Grace eventually created COBOL, a pioneering programming language that is still in use, as a result of her idea of what a computer could be. She released the initial algorithm created for computer use. Number 3. Hedy Lammer, inventor of Wi-Fi. In 1914, Hedy Lammer was born in Vienna, and she passed away in Florida, USA, in 2000. She was a film producer, inventor, and Austrian-American actress. In 1942, Hedy received a patent for the secret communication system that she had created with the aid of the composer George Anthale. Radio-guided torpedoes were meant to be deflected during the war using the frequency system. The development of Bluetooth, GPS, and Wi-Fi technology later served as an inspiration for the concept. Number 4. Katherine Johnson, the NASA mathematician. One of the three black students that attended the graduate school in West Virginia at the time was Katherine Johnson, who was born there in 1918. The success of the first ever U.S. space voyage was greatly influenced by the mathematician's trajectory analysis for NASA. Catherine manually completed the intricate manual calculations NASA had set into the computer for the launch. Number 5. Elizabeth Feinler, the original search engine. Elizabeth, who was the first member of her family to attend college and earn a graduate degree, was born in West Virginia in 1931. She used to run a search engine named Network Information Center, which was a precursor to Google. The NIC published the first internet resources and directories, creating the white and yellow pages directories. Along with creating these domain names, Elizabeth's team also created the .com, .edu, .gov, .net, and a number of others. Number 6. Annie Easley, the NASA rocket scientist. Annie Easley, who was born in Birmingham, Alabama, in 1933, studied pharmacy at Xavier University. She went on to become a NASA scientist and paved the way for racial and gender diversity in STEM. One of the four black employees at NASA, Annie, had a life that inspired many people through her eager involvement in outreach initiatives. She broke through barriers as an equal employment opportunity counselor. The groundwork for future space shuttle launches was created by Annie's work on the NASA Centaur rocket program. Number 7. Karen Spark Jones, the pioneer in information technology. In 1935, Karen Jones was born. She attended Cambridgeshire's Grinton College to study history and philosophy. Inverse Document Frequency IDF, developed by Karen, is a weighting factory that assesses a word's significance to a document. It is currently being used to rate a document's relevancy to a search query in web search engines. Number 8. Mary Wilkes, the first home computer user. Mary Wilkes, who was born in Chicago in 1937, earned a philosophy degree from Wellesley College. She works as a logic designer and computer programmer. During her formative years, Mary spent a year working with computers like the IBM 709 and IBM 704. Later, she joined the digital computer department and made contributions to the Link, one of the first interactive personal computer systems. She became well known due to the Link use she did at home. Number 9. Radio Perlman the mother of internet. 
Radio Perlman, who was educated at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology and learned to program for a physics class, was born in New Jersey in 1951. Because of her creation of the algorithm underlying the spanning tree protocol, STP, the Internet is active today. The work of Radio established the fundamental guidelines for Internet traffic and had a significant influence on how networks self-organize and move data. Number 10. Adele Goldberg, the inspiration for graphical user interfaces, D. Adele Goldberg, who was born in Ohio in 1973, graduated with a bachelor's degree in mathematics from the University of Michigan, before going on to the University of Chicago, to earn a doctorate in information science. The creation of the programming language Smile to Katie, which served as the basis for the original Apple computer, was her biggest accomplishment. The ideas Adele and her group developed, formed the cornerstones of the graphical user interfaces, D, that are employed today. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed and learned something from this video. Catch you on the next. Peace.